Welcome to my channel! Today I made a little experiment for you. One flower I painted without white paint and the second flower I used white gouache for light areas. Two identical flowers and you can decide which technique is better. I have line drawings for both crocus flowers already in my sketchbook. Removing excess amount of graphite off the paper with an elastic eraser. We will need watercolors, color palette, water. Now to mixing watercolors. For this tutorial I'm using ultramarine blue, permanent rose and red violet. After mixing watercolors test on a piece of paper how your watercolor mixes look on the paper. Recipes of watercolor mixes. Starting first with crocus flower, which will not have white paint, as I do paint usually. One petal at a time, starting with clean water layer, be sure that your water is clean after mixing watercolors. I will be using our pre-mixed watercolors, ultramarine blue, permanent rose and ultramarine blue and red violet. In this experiment it's not so important about the color tone, the importance is I want to compare side by side these two crocus flower in order you can decide which technique is best for you. When I'm painting without white paint using white as the paper. This technique is longer, but in my opinion better, just because nothing can be whiter in watercolors as is the paper. Any other white paint still will be visible that it's not clean as the paper is. In the beginning when I'm applying watercolors, I leave white area much wider than it appears in the reference. A closer view and a side view how my fine brush stroke is moving as I start to apply next layers. Moving on with finer brush strokes and gradually we will build the realistic look of this crocus. And as you can see, I have much wider area of the light. Side view for seeing brush strokes and only the tip of the brush is touching the surface of the paper. Now I'm finishing up this crocus flower which I paint as I usually do without any white paint and I really like the result. And now we can move to the other one which I will paint differently. Starting the same with watery layer and round synthetic brush. loading brush with watercolors and applying layer. I will be honest that this type of painting method was quite unusual for me and I was in the beginning slightly struggling how to I need to pr proceed further because I just can't paint over all the surface. It was really strange, uh, also fun but it's definitely a completely different approach to painting. Reaching finishing touches to second crocus flower. Here we have both of them side by side. And the second one isn't yet finished. I'm taking white gouache paint, 
squeezing a little amount on my color palette and starting to apply shiny area to the second crocus flower. While you're watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button and if you find it helpful, consider subscribing to my channel. New videos and tutorials coming out every week. In my opinion, using white gouache paint for making light areas, shiny areas is more suitable when you are painting with gouache for the whole composition. This is quite opaque pigment, medium, and then using the white gouache will have much better result. Very rarely I do use gouache paint. For example, little shiny spots on anterns, which anterns are already a super small area. And then gouache paint can help in such occasions. But to create the whole light surface on the petals or leaves will not give you those results what you can get with leaving paper for the light area. Adding details with white gouache, stem, and here we have them both side by side. You can decide which one is better for you. One takes longer and the white gouache takes faster, but which result you like better? Leave a comment, I would really like to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching and see you in my next tutorials. Bye-bye!